Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we got a little overview on a brand new to the website on the Skynetic lineup. This is the Skynetic Cardinal. This is a 1400 millimeter wingspan powered glider uh, trainer aircraft that uh, is offered right now in both ready to fly and plug and play options. So those links are down in the description below. Now, as far as assembly goes, guys, it's really quick. We did a live video, which I'll have a link to in the description down below, where I built it in all of 30 minutes and it wouldn't even have taken that long. We were just, uh, you know, talking to the chat and doing it as we went through. But in that video, we showed you the full unboxing. So everything comes out. It's pretty simple steps. You don't even need any screws. The only uh, screws you actually use are thumb screws or hand screws, if you will, on the back here. We just got back from flying, sorry, had a little, uh, dirt in there, but um, just some hand screws to attach the elevator and the vertical stabilizer uh, to the back. But then your wings, they are just pushed together and held on tight by, uh, by some rubber bands that, you know, installed and you just basically install the prop. And then from there, you just want to set up at least a four to five channel uh, receiver. Now, the reason it's four to five, uh, out of the box, this model is going to come with, again, your usual throttle ailerons. It comes with a Y cable so that you can uh, attach those, elevator and rudder. But what's great about the Skynetic Cardinal, and we offer an option for flaps molded into the wings, uh, are everything you're gonna need is already molded in to add flaps to this. You just gotta add the servo, the linkage, the control rods, uh, and cut the flap uh, itself, cut it out and use the foam hinge. And we talked about that in the uh, live show, but uh, you'll see here, we sell a kit that you can buy. It's about 20 bucks. That'll give you the servos needed and everything you need to uh, have the flaps installed. Also optional that you can add to this if you wanted to was an optional landing gear. There's a spot uh, on the bottom that's gonna come with uh, a front landing gear and it's a little tail wheel in the back. So if you wanna take off from uh, a runway and practice your takeoffs and landings, being that this is a trainer, you can do that with this model if you want to. But where this model really shines, it's its easy ability to uh, hand launch out of your hand. Um, and again, just glide around. So this model will take a 2200 3S, is about the biggest battery you're gonna fit inside. You could go with less battery, if you want a 1600 or a 1300 3S, you're gonna get plenty of flight time. Uh, you're gonna see it flying around here. We went out with it. Uh, just this morning to a local uh, flying field, football field. There was actually a DLG club going on. There's about five guys with some nice DLGs over to our left that I was flying amongst. But um, overall, just a nice, simple uh, trainer. You know, it's great for gliding. Again, great for learning orientation. If this is going to be your first model, it's perfect for that. It's not too fast. It's not too uh, slow and also it's not too hard to control. I actually didn't set up any rates. I said, let me just fly this 100% rate. So I just plugged in the receiver, went out there and just flew it. And uh, you know, it doesn't do anything too fast. So you're not gonna have to worry about rolling it over um, too fast because it's not that type of model. Like you could see here, I did try to do a couple rolls. I was adding rudder and aileron into all the rolls just to get it to roll or else it'll roll too slow. If you're gonna do rolls and loops, definitely do it a few steps high, um, give yourself some height because, uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't make it through the roll and it wants to, it'll start diving on you. So you don't want to do that. But again, this aircraft is not an aerobatic aircraft. This is going to be great for a trainer, a beginner, somebody starting out and wants to get into something with a little size. Um, and again, as we spoke in the model, some of the nice features about this model too, are that the whole nose, the whole front of the nose is rubber. So it's a, a whole rubber thing that's epoxied in, which is great because if you do, you know, hit the ground, you're not going to really worry about, not going to do hardly any damage there, which is awesome. You got carbon, carbon fiber uh, tube on the back. And as I said, when you pull it out of the box, all your control rods are already pre-installed. On the wings, the aileron servos and rods are already pre-installed. Uh, the only thing you're going to have to do is connect the control rods once you do a quick, easy assembly on the elevator and the vertical stab, and then just add your receiver and you'll be able to go. And another thing that this model does come with out of the box, uh, instead of the black canopy, as you see here, it does come with an FPV canopy. So this canopy will be perfect if you wanted to add an FPV camera for first person view with your F F uh, FPV receiver uh, on the back or a battery for that uh, on the back. You could sort of have a detachable S FPV uh, system. So, you know, it's a great model. Like I watched a lot of DLG gliders. They're throwing their DLGs up in the air and sitting on a lounge chair and flying those around. Same type of model uh, here. You could do that with FPV, get yourself a nice 
lounge, uh, get yourself a nice lawn chair and, uh, you know, fly around FPV, which is something I may have to try uh, in the future. But all around, a nice addition to the Skynetic lineup. And uh, if you're interested in this type of model, guys, definitely check out the links down below because uh, the model is available right now. And again, as I said, in both ready to fly or plug and play. So it's up to you how you want to enjoy the new Skynetic Cardinal. But uh, that's going to do it for us here, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC. Bye, guys.